So what we're going to do is a difference quotient problem. And if you guys say it, it says find the difference quotient and simplify your answer. So what we have previously done, is we've already worked on evaluating for some terms. And what we've previously evaluated for is you know, numbers. It says find the value of the function when it f of 2. Well, when we look at this difference quotient here, we actually, they want us to evaluate it a couple times. And they have this big rational expression in here. So what we're going to do is to make this sim simple for you, we're just going to break it down into uh, different steps. First thing they looks like, they say they want you to find out what is the value of the function when you plug in x plus h. Obviously, those are two variables, so we're not going to get a number answer, but we're going to get another expression. So let's find the value of x plus h. So if I do f of x plus h, I'm going to obtain 4x plus h squared minus 2 times x plus h. <coughs> right? I just plug in x plus h in for my x variable. So therefore, that equals 4 times x plus h is going to give me x squared plus 2xh plus h squared minus 2x minus 2h. And I'll probably put brackets around back over there. I'll multiply by 4 all the way through so I can simplify my work. So now I go look at it and that, that's actually all simplified that I that I can get. Then the next thing for, oh, on this difference quotient, this is 80. Yes, and then it says just take f of x. So then it says take what this is and then subtract that from f of x. So rather than writing, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to write f of x plus h minus f of x. Well, f of x is 4x squared minus 2x. So I'm just going to rewrite this and say, 4x squared plus 8xh plus 4h squared minus 2x minus 2h minus 4x squared minus 2x, all that over h. And what you guys can look at is these are now actually going to cancel out. As I distribute my negative sign into there, I'll make, make that negative and make that a positive. So therefore, those two cancel out, and my two x's are going to cancel out. So therefore, I'm left with 4h squared plus 8xh minus 2h all over h. Now, the last thing I notice is I can factor out an h, or cancel out an h. So therefore, the final answer for my difference quotient simplified would be 4h plus 8x minus 2. Because, you know, a squared over h equals h. Okay. What happened? Yeah, what happened the first step? No, not the first step. But like you changed the plus sign to minus. What I did was I just distributed this too. Rather than saying, you know, minus 4x squared minus 2x, I just distributed that negative sign into both of them. So I said, all right, that's, well, because remember, you're subtracting all things. So when you subtract both things, you subtract 4x, um, and then it's going to be subtracting the 2x as well. So you just change the signs on uh, the opposite signs. Anybody have any other questions, though, at least on my application? This?